Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dustin Avenger from Slackers to Cover. Thought I'd pop in and give a little state of the channel update. Huge thanks to everyone. We've successfully broken 300 subs and stayed up there for more than a week. Fickle business that is sometimes. But it's a milestone met and one more step to Slackers world domination. Think I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not. Just, just you wait. It's an amazing achievement and not to completely rip PBS's line, a truthful line made possible by viewers like you. For reals, thank you. You guys are awesome. In other news, due to group consensus, the ARC Codex series, our attempt at going through all of the ARC has to offer, will be altered slightly. The ARC, Isla, the island, ARC's flagship map, and designating it as a vanilla standard of playing has produced, well, a somewhat blander experience than we first thought. Maybe it's from the library of mods available, or the fact that the island is buggier than bat crap, but here's what we're switching things up to. We'll continue the quest via completing the bosses, obtaining the notes, and the tames as planned. However, our lineup of what maps we're going to cover has been delayed. Uh, we're going to hold off of Scorched Earth for now. Uh, our next map is actually going to be the center, and it'll be heavily modded. Once again, subs are welcome to join us on that world. I'm thinking Primal Fear as a base mod with Anunnaki, maybe some Dragon Punk. We'll have to see about how to do some scaling on Dragon Punk, just so it doesn't get completely overshadowed by the other two mods. There's a lot in that one I really want to see. Leviathan, here's looking at you. This switch-up is also in response to Extinction being given a set date now in November, November 14th, and my next note, Fallout 76. Take my money now, Bethesda, you beautiful bastards. Yeah, we're pretty much all in. The, the whole channel is super excited on this one. Expect to see that in November at the time it's released. I believe it's November 14th. As you notice, the extinction is like six days difference there. If you haven't seen it yet, maybe the rock you're staying under is bereft of the interwebs. Feel free to check it out in our hashtag Fallout section of Discord where the community has been posting their favorite tidbits of interviews, infos, and showcases of what we know so far. Multiplayer, PvP, PvE, Fallout communities, camps... It's going to be a good time, and we are really looking forward to it. Now, back to some channel staples. For the past six months, we've been using the unofficial community patch for Borderlands 2 playthroughs. Offer some great balance changes and revamps to the game. Re revamps? Revamps that the game desperately needed. We're going to be switching that up to a variation of that, uh, a mod pack of community resources known as Borderlands 2 Reborn by Kobe. If you're one of our community that likes grouping up with us, I highly suggest picking up that patch note to use prior to joining. It's a pretty nice overhaul to everything Borderlands 2. Everything from gun modifications that make the individual manufacturers more noticeable, such as bandit guns get a chance to fire twice, TD or gets ammo regen. Skill balances, class revamps, some junky Borderlands 2 guns get switched out for some awesome Borderlands 1 ones. That sort of thing. Example, uh... Flintster box gets switched out for the Clipper from Ninetales Borderlands 1. It's got so much ignite damage, so much fire. It's a beautiful, beautiful weapon. That sort of thing. It's uh, From what we've tested so far, it's pretty darn sweet. Now, speaking of Borderlands, with our current time frame, we've been playing Borderlands playthroughs, keeping a stream schedule. Tuesday, Thursday, uh, 3.30 Eastern, and Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that was originally set to get Mad Dog through the game for his first time through, which, I don't know how, with all we've played, he never actually beat the game before. We got him to beat the game. Uh, we accomplished that on last Tuesday. Now, we are going to include him more often and try to for the game's upcoming. Uh, the thing with, like, including him is... What was happening is we were playing games like me and Clunkin, we'd include Mad Dog, we'd play for a little bit, Mad Dog would go to work, you know, or whatever his schedule, his schedule's a little bit harder to work around than ours, and then we continue the series, and then before we know it, we're 30 levels above him, and it, it was just, you know, despair, it's, it, it was hard to kind of keep that, so now with this, we're trying to keep it to where we only play at the times, so and we're all together, that way we can make sure we do a thing that stays a thing as a group. Um, it should be fairly easy for that. Now, we are looking to add more stream time on streaming on this channel, so it's less inconsistent and more early than was previous. As soon as we have something more set in stone, you guys will be the first to know. Summer times, let's go. Now, I'm going to hit on real quick to answer a few questions that have come up recently with the conversations with the fam. Now, it's easier to answer them in a public forum than it is by a case-by-case -case basis. That way, I'm just not repeating myself. Don't worry, I'm not naming names. 
but our answers do apply to the collective. So, you know, here goes. Will you guys ever do a Patreon? Eventually. You know, I, I, is that an answer? Is that an answer? I mean, that's an answer, right? Patreon is, or meant to be, a give-and-take system. Fans donate to support the channel, definitely, but there's usually some form of compensation to be had at the same time, whether it be digital goods in the forms of Patreon-only emotes, access to servers or services, or some distinguishable action or certification that separates them from the average fan. Patreon supporters are just that. Essentially, they are super fans. And yes, eventually we'll have a Patreon up and running with, with included benefits, but we don't have any benefits to offer anyone at the moment. Saying something like, your donations will help us make better content is lazy. Like, really, really lazy. Even saying something like, your money helps us get a better system to make better videos. Duh. Creating content is, in a nutshell, a business. If you're not reinvesting what you earn, you're doing it wrong. That's part of growing a business, man. You'll, if you're a baker, you'll never succeed in being a better baker if you don't use what you earn to invest in better quality ingredients and tools. I mean, that, that's just part of the thing. You don't. I think my video just stopped. Video, why why you stop, man? Why you stop? Psst, play the video. My background. Oh, that, that's all the. Oh, that's all my background. Oh, sure. You beep 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 beep. Just uh, just restart that. No, no one's no. You guys are cool with not knowing. Really. You 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 good? Man? Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, no, 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 describe that, I, I only recorded X amount of time, um, anyway, um, yeah, so, it's, it's just one of those things, it shouldn't be a incentive, it shouldn't be an incentive, it should be a standard, not something you have to badger your viewership to donate for, nah, man, we're not gonna have a beg for money, we're gonna earn it, give only if you want to, when you want to, and not a moment before, next question, I know somewhere, Somebody's got feathers just, that are just going to just ruffle all the feathers in the world, man. Next question. Why you guys mention Humble Bundles so damn much? That's an actual question. Now, for those of you who don't know, Humble Bundle is a great place to get awesome games on the cheap. Developers give games at a smaller, at a, at a cheaper rate so that Humble Bundle can sell them and give a portion of the earnings to charity. It's kind of a, it, it, they're donating the games essentially and the games are being sold and part of it's being, yeah, I mean, it, it's a way to give the charity is what it is by using purchases of games and services and software and stuff. Now, why do we mention it so much? Well, we're partnered with them. Anytime you click on our link and buy a bundle, a monthly, a game, yes, you're giving us a tiny kickback to support our channel, but you're giving a bigger portion and supporting the specific charity we selected, which is Child's Play. Uh, look it up if you don't. If you're unsure about what I'm about to say, or uh, you, you don't believe it, some people don't, um, you know, they give games to kids in hospitals to make their stays more fun. I mean, it's a hospital. Some of these kids are there a lot. Serious issues. Some never leave. We thought it was a great charity to help out. Those kids don't deserve that. Lighten their minds a little. Let them have fun and not think about why they're there. Just for a little bit. Being out of hospital sucks. It, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what age you are. It's not a good time. Child's Play makes that time not as excruciating. And that's a pretty rad thought to have. That, you know, they're out there and they, they try to make the time that you got to spend there a little bit better. So, this next one really isn't question, but it is something that comes up in streams pretty often. Someone will say, hey, I would totally like to buy something that you have, like merch, to support you or donate money, but I don't have any money. Well, I have I got an offer for you. Well, no, actually, you don't have to have money support us. Heck, you don't have to donate anything ever at all, especially if it's out of your means. Like, take care of yourself on your own first, man, always. If you want to support us, there's so many ways that you can do it that doesn't cost you a dime. For one, stopping by and saying what's up during a stream helps. Motivation, man. You have no idea how nice it is to see familiar faces when you're streaming. People you've seen stop by and, you know, talk to before. Like, that's part of the whole community thing. Like, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. When, you know, like Judson Joyce or um, uh, one of our newer guys, Gal Gal I think his name's like Galga, uh, Galgamore. When he stops by and says hello, like, Joyce 
Joist is a literal encyclopedia of Borderlands 2 information. And I mean that wholeheartedly and sincerely. The guy is awesome. I think he probably knows more about the game than the devs know about the game. Which is probably saying something. That kind of thing, that openness with the community and stuff, I like seeing, I like meeting people, I like talking to people, because you guys bring something to the, the show. Like, th this is what it is, it's a show. I mean, we play the game, we have fun, but we talk to you guys, and you guys kind of make it more fun, and it, this is an entertainment thing, you know? That, that's what it is. I mean, also, it's, it's kind of showing off, like, to a degree, if it's something that we're familiar with, like Borderlands 2 is a passion of ours, but it's also... We grow from the community just as the community grows us kind of thing. And, and that's what I'm kind of uh, trying to hit at here. And I'm gone way off the range of my notes here. But it's sharing a video or a stream or an announcement, telling a friend to go check out these weirdos you met online, all that kind of stuff helps. Like, I've said it once, I'll say it again, as a small channel, visibility is our greatest foe. Sharing a video on your Facebook, and your Discord, on a Reddit post. Man, you have no idea what effects that can have. The ripple of potential that can have. Our community is important to us. As a small channel, that's more than you realize. You guys are the lifeblood of everything. We don't have big YouTuber numbers. We don't have YouTube algorithms that recommend us like they do the Markipliers and the Game Theorists of the world. You guys are our recommends, our growth, our reach. Your support in those fields is far far more helpful than any monetary donation. And we're grateful for it. We truly are. Heck, we're more grateful for that than monetary donations. I mean, if you're gonna buy a game, if something pops up that you really like that's on Sell Humble Bundle, you know, I, I hope that you, you, you think of us and you, you click on our link and you give us a kickback and you help our charity and that kind of thing. But it's not required. Like, just you watching our show, just uh, you stopping by and checking out and saying, hey, hey what's up? And and maybe going like, you know what, I really like this stream, I'm going to share it and let other people know that I like these guys or that these guys are something to look out for. That's huge, man. You have no idea how absolutely huge that is. So, with that, I'm wrapping up the state of the channel. This is Just Money. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you guys in the next video. Later, Underground. Peace.